Our next guest is best known for playing stuffy Broadway producer Maxwell Sheffield on the series The Nanny. You ever seen The Nanny? No, sir. No? Okay. Well, this is his first time on The Tonight Show. Please welcome Charles Shaughnessy. <laughs> exciting. Well, it's good to see you. you do a great job on the show. Thank very funny. you very much. Thank you. Now, you were a little upset about something before, I sensed. Uh, uh, well, you know, uh, just a little peeve. It's a pet peeve of mine. It's actually yeah. a new pet peeve, and it happened to me yesterday, and I'm still trying to work it out. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I was. We have this great uh, store near us, which serves um, organic uh, vegetable juices. Right. You, know, you go to get a glass of juice. And I'm sitting there uh, a couple of days ago at lunchtime with my juice and my sandwich. I'm waiting for my wife who's doing some shopping. And just as I sit down, this woman says, oh, excuse, could you just keep an eye on the, my juice there? I'm just going to make a phone call. Yeah, sure, sure, go on. I'll keep an eye on it. So she disappears, and I'm glancing over this juice from time to time. And someone comes to take it away. No, uh, there's someone coming back for that. You know. And I'm watching it, and it's beginning to kind of bug me. I'm having to kind of glance, so I move my seat, and now I'm sitting on the other side of the table to keep an eye on this juice. Right. And I'm trying to read my book and eat my sandwich, and I keep having to worry about this juice. And it's this juice starts to take over the lunch. My wife comes along and tries to sit where I'm sitting. I say, no, no, you've got to sit over there. So I'm watching the juice. <laughs> she said, but, but I'm in the sun here. That's the shaded seat. I, I could, sorry, but I ha if you want to sit here, you have to watch the juice. <laughs> this is the juice chair. This, I have to watch the juice. So I'm sitting there, and she's going on about the juice. We have no conversation. I can't read my book. I'm fending people off this thing. It's now time to go. We finished our lunch, been ruined completely by this juice. Time to go home. I, said, I can't go home. She's not back yet. <laughs> well, where is she? I don't know. She's not at the phone booth. I don't know where she went. <laughs> but how long should we go? It's 20 minutes. So we're sitting there. I'm going, how long do we have to wait? I don't know. When she comes back. Finally, I say, you know what? There's a lady over there. Let's ask her to watch the juice for us. <laughs> Just at that minute, this woman comes back, nods at me, picks up her juice. It's the woman that left it there. Nods at me, picks up the juice, sniffs it, puts it in the garbage can and walks off. Ooh, ooh that would get me. Ooh, that would. 40 minutes. We were sitting there. <laughs> ruined the lunch. Oh, man. And you're, man. you're still furious two days later. I, you, can, you can tell. Maybe she's probably watching right tell. now. It feels terrible. I, maybe. Yes. Don't do that again. <laughs> Because I remember you were on, what, was it Days of Our Lives? Days of Our Lives, so he is, yeah. Well, you had a great, um, your character had a great name. What was it? Shane, Shane. Uh, Shane Donovan. Very Irish name for this very British Asian. Is there anybody in England it. named Shane? I've never seen an um, English guy named Shane. No, there's a lot of people in America called Shane since then. That's yeah. the alarming thing. You, know, you go out on these appearances and people bring their babies up and say, he's called Shane Donovan Williams after you. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, it's very dramatic. Yeah. You know, oh, yeah, it is. It's, it's like Ridge and Rock and oh. Brick and Shane and you. Come back, Shane! Come back! Well, we, I, you know, I, I pulled a clip. This is from about eight or nine years ago. Very dramatic. Uh oh. This is uh -oh. you. And, and the sprinkler. You know the oh, yeah. And yeah. it's obviously not a sprinkler. It's obviously a teacher with a hose <laughs> spraying you. This, what this I love is in Florida. Here, take a look. Here we go. <laughs> Baby. I like the guy with the hose. Yeah, I think you know, I think we were going for the sort of uh, very sexy Emmanuel look for that, and he just ended up cold and wet and miserable. There was nothing remotely romantic about it. We just looked like a couple of drowned rats. Do you still get recognized a lot by Sofa? Well, obviously, people here. Yeah. There's one. No, it's true. It's like it's about 50-50 now. People yeah. come up to me, and I'm never sure whether it's Shane or Maxwell, and they're very different characters. I, know, yeah. I don't know whether it'd be the suave secret agent or the sort of bumbling English <laughs> producer. <laughs> Which do you prefer? I kind of go somewhere down the middle. Yeah. 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 Somewhere kind of down the middle. Suave, bumbling. Suave and bumbling's good. That works. Now, you do a Fran impression? Can you do Fran? You want me to do a Fran impression? Yeah. <laughs> sure, I'll do a Fran impression. <laughs> I, have to, I have to get up for my Fran impression because it's, uh, it's a mobile impression. Very, very good. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'd work on the voice a little bit. You see, you know, sometimes I just sit and do the voice. Like, yeah. uh, <laughs> oh, good, oh, good, good, very good. But then if I throw in the moves, it throws the voice out. Yeah, yeah. But the moves are a new addition. I know she hasn't seen that one yet. An actor prepared. I hope I have a job next season. <laughs> no, I'm sure you will. Terrific work, Charles. Thank, thank you. you very, very much, Thanks, Charles Shaughnessy. We'll be right back right after this.